Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Uh, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick get ready with me. Um, I'm not doing too much today, but I just wanted to put on makeup and just talk. So I'm going to get started. First thing, or I'm going to be doing a pretty basic look, um, I think. It might go in a different direction and i'm also using a few new products that i found at tj maxx well two i only found two but they're really cool and they're really exciting to me so i'm going to be showing that to you guys so we're just going to go ahead and get started the first thing i want to talk about does anybody else's sponge do this like whenever i wet my real technique sponge it like looks weird like it still works it still blends out my makeup but it always looks a little weird I noticed so the first product I'm gonna be using is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel lotion sunscreen with F no SPF 50 I saw this in a Jamie page video and I'm pretty sure Samantha Ravindal talked about it as well and uh, it's kind of like a it's a sunscreen obviously but it's not like a greasy what well, says here non greasy and it's like very moisturizing. Um, so I tried it the other day just alone and I really liked it. So I'm going to do that first. And I also wanted to like start incorporating sunscreen into like my daytime skincare routine because I'm not out in the sun a lot, but I know that sun is like one of the worst things for your skin, like it ages you and it is just bad overall and I also have dark marks and I don't want them to get darker in the sun and sunscreen overall is a really good step to have in your skincare routine so I started doing that and I also like that sunscreen because it doesn't supposedly this is the first time I'm trying it on with makeup but it's not supposed to like mess with your makeup and like make it feel weird it's good underneath makeup um, so the next product is my primer and I'm actually trying out this one for the first time as well this I got at TJ Maxx yesterday this is one of the products I got at TJ Maxx that I'm really excited about this is the Kaja blur drop weightless water primer and I was really confused because this brand just came out at Sephora I think maybe like a few months ago so I was like what the heck it's at TJ Maxx and usually things that are there are like kind of older things um, so I saw this and I was really excited so I got it. I think I got it for $6.99 um, but it's just like a clear it's like a clear it's not like a silicone -y feeling primer it's kind of like they mixed a moisturizer with a silicone primer I tried it on my hand yesterday and it felt really nice so I'm hoping this looks good. And if you can't tell, I'm in a new setup. Um, well, it's not much of a setup, it's just a new area. I recently moved, um, I'm in a completely different state. Um, I lived in Florida and I moved here to Virginia with my boyfriend and his family. And I'm really excited. It's a really like, pretty to look at state. Um, and the weather's nice and it's not hot and sweaty like Florida. Um, so I want to do more vlogs because um, I feel like we're in a new state. I have to show everybody. So yeah, I want to film more vlogs. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll definitely, definitely get on that. So the next thing I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use just a little bit of my um, MAC face and body. I went to the beach. And I, talking about sunscreen, I purposely didn't wear sunscreen, dumb, because I wanted to get tan, which you can't tell, but I am tan. And now the foundations that I bought like before I got tan, they're too, they don't match me. And this is the only one that matches me. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this just to kind of even out my skin tone. Take it on a brush and put it all over my face oh another cool thing about I guess living here is we actually get like weather changes because in Florida it's basically just hot 
and then a little less hot is the two temperatures we get so i want to film like when it gets colder more like wintry style videos like how to style like winter clothes i feel like it'd be nice to see it from like someone's perspective that's like never lived in cold like how much lambing do you actually have to do and like things that i buy because i don't have any winter things actually my boyfriend's sister gave me one winter jacket so i have that and that's it <laughs> so i want to do more styling videos like that i think it'll be cool so i have a very thin layer of that and now i'm going to take my concealer this is the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer long name and i'm just going to put it on my chin around my nose the usual spots and then i do have like a few pimples i put it on that as well and my under eye yesterday we stayed up until like two in the morning watching um us which i know i'm late but it just came out on redbox i think and it was really good it wasn't like a scary movie like like jump scares or something it was like just creepy but i really liked it if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. See, like, look at my sponge. I can't even hold it. Like, sometimes it doesn't do this. And it's not that I wring out, it's not that I don't, like, wring out the water. Because I do. I don't know why it does that. It's so weird. Like I said, it, it blends out my makeup fine. It's fine. But like, it's so weird. Oh, also, because I moved, I have like a new, I guess, filming setup. It's not this. I have a new desk and I have like all new, I just have like a new area. So I'm not in the bathroom anymore, which I did like, um, but I have like a bigger area now. So I'm gonna do like a little office tour um, just so you can kind of see, cause nothing I bought is like really expensive or anything so kind of like an office tour on like a budget so i'm going to be filming that probably today so the next thing i'm going to do is just take my um beauty bakery flower powder and just and just put in the spots where i applied that concealer so the next thing is bronzer and this is one of the other exciting products this is the nars laguna bronzer and looks like this i'm sure you guys know what it looks like but it was at TJ Maxx and I think it was $16.99. So it was, I mean, I guess a little expensive for TJ Maxx, but I think it's originally like $32. And I, when I saw it, it was meant to be, I was meant to be there that day. Cause I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go to TJ Maxx. And I was like, I guess, yes, I'll go. It was meant to be, I was meant to find this bronzer. And I, I mean, I've always wanted it, but I never really had $32 to spend on a bronzer, but I got it for like half off, which is very exciting. For my highlight, I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Handle Glow Illuminate. This one is in Gold Obsession. I don't use this that much. It's just a cream highlighter. And I don't even remember what this looks like, but I wanna use it. Hold on. I think I know why I don't use it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass on this. I think it's like picking up my foundation. So scratch this. I'm gonna use something else. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, what is this called? Flawless filter for Superstar Youth Glow. Oh my gosh, the other day, I tried to do like the faux freckles it wasn't working out. I just look dirty and I really wanna try, ex I mean, I think I'm pretty late for the faux freckles trend, but I was like, I don't know, let me try it. No, I, I was not successful. I look, I look dirty. I look very dirty. <laughs> for my blush, I'm gonna take the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. And this is very pigmented, so I take, I'll show you, this is probably too much, but I take about that much, and, oh no, okay, so I put it 
on my cheeks and I do one side at a time just because like I said it is pretty pigmented and you don't want it to look like your little finger marks everywhere and I just go over it with my sponge I just want to look a little bit more dewy so I'm gonna take my Ciate London dewy stick and just taking a little bit on my finger and just putting that right over the highlight. All right, so for my eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And this is the part where I like can't talk because I'm so focused. Okay, now for the eyes, I wanna keep it very simple. Um, I'm just gonna take, this is the Modern Renaissance palette, um, but any colors that look similar to this, I'm taking raw sienna and just putting that in my crease. And taking that same color and putting that on my lower lash line. And with my finger, I'm just taking that same color and just putting it on my lid. And just to add a little bit more warmth, I'm taking Real Gar, no, Real Gar and Red Ochre. Uh, just gently mixed. And then I'm just lightly applying that to my crease. On my brow bone, I'm taking Tempura, so this one, and inner corner, Primavera. Alright, and that is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to apply some mascara and I will come back to apply my lip color. Okay, I just saw this, I'm adding this in last minute. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Amaze. It's just like a really glittery shade. I'm going to like lightly tap it on my finger. Just put like a little bit on my eyelid. That'll do. Oh, okay. So another thing, let me zoom you out. So I found this is a Anastasia single eyeshadow at TJ Maxx and I thought it was really pretty. So I bought it, it was $3. So like I said, so I got it and then I dropped it. I didn't know where to put it, so I grabbed my ColourPop little palette. I mean, it's full, so I don't know what I was trying to do, but I noticed that these two colors are a... Hey! Oh my gosh. Okay. These two colors are exactly the same. And I... Can you see that? This is Top Notch from ColourPop. And I just noticed, wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so this shade, <laughs> this shade is called Real Gar, but this one is Real Gar. And they're different, and they're both Anastasia shades. This is like way more orange, right? Am I reading that? Yeah weird well anyways what I was trying to say was if you want this you can either find it at TJ Maxx for three dollars or you can just get top-notch from ColourPop I'm so confused anyways now I'm gonna put my mascara on and just be confused by the way the mascara I use is the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. And then last for my lips, I'm just gonna use the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned for my little office tour that should be coming up very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. 
and if you want to see more of me go ahead and subscribe I don't know why I'm holding these anyways go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in my next video